Hello, um, in this video, I want to talk about how the WPA authentication process works and uh, how uh, the tools like AirCrackNG and the HashCap can actually crack the you know, Wi-Fi password. So I have a diagram in here showing the you know, WPA authentication process and uh, also I prepared the uh, you know, Wi-Fi packet capture showing the authentication process in here. So initially, uh, there is open authentication between the Wi-Fi client and then access point. And from there, so once it is associated, uh, there is a, uh, there, there is a 802.1x uh, authentication process in here immediately. And this authentication process involves, you know, four, you know, four message exchange. So people just call it, you know, this is a, you know, W. WPA four-way handshake. So in the first message, you know, first message is from the access point to the client, and it contains uh, this parameter called a nouns. You know, this is just a random number, uh, which is generated from the access point. And uh, once uh, a Wi-Fi client receives this a nouns, then it is calculating some, you know, something called PTK. Uh, PTK stands for you know pairwise transit key, and uh, it is calculated uh, uh, like this. Uh, so, from you know, once it is uh, once it calculated PTK, then it is calculating something called MIC uh, message integrity code, uh, which is uh, just the hash value which is calculated based on the PTK in here. And, and then STA is sending up in the second message, uh, STA is sending up to the access point the S nouns and this MIC. You know, MIC is again the hash value which is calculated based on the PTK. And then you know access point is calculating the PTK. And uh, now uh, it can find out if uh, access point has uh, you know correct password, you know correct Wi-Fi password or not. Uh, if uh, uh, if uh, you know the calculated MIC matches with uh, what uh, what is in the packet, then access point knows that you know the, this Wi-Fi client has a correct password, and and then you know it is sending uh, this uh, GTK in the third message, it is sending this uh, GTK you know group transit key. So this key is used to encrypt, uh, broadcast all the multicast packets. And uh, in the last message, just the STA, you know, Wi-Fi client just acknowledge this. So this is a four-way handshake. And uh, if you see the whole process in here, uh, let's say you have a packet capture, then you can find out this A nouns, you know, S nouns from the packet capture and the access point MAC address and the STA MAC address, right? And also you have uh, this uh, MIC, the hash value which is calculated based on the PTK. The only part that you don't know is this pass, you know, this password. So this MIC is a hash value. So this hash, you know, hash is a one-way function, right? So if you have an original value, then you can calculate out the uh, hash value. But, but you, you know, but, but if you have a, even if you have a hash value, you can't really calculate back to the original value. So to, you know, to find out this password, uh, what you can do is uh, you can prepare, you know, you can prepare a dictionary containing a lot of words, then just to calculate, uh, you know, calculate the PMK and then from the PMK, uh, calculate the PTK because, uh, you know, we know all other parameters in here and uh, from the PTK, you know, just to calculate out the hash value MIC. And if uh, this calculated MIC a hash value matches with uh, what is captured in the packet capture, that means that you know we use the correct password to calculate uh, you know this MIC. Of course, I mean if it is different, then you know uh, we use the wrong password to calculate uh, you know to calculate right. So that's how actually the tools like AirCrackNG and HashCap is uh, is doing. So it needs a word list 
and the, from that you know from that dictionary you choose the word and then calculate the PMK PTK and this hash value and then uh, compare that hash value with uh, what is captured in the packet capture if they match then it knows that you know it got the correct password right so again if we see this in the packet capture one more time so there is open authentication in here and uh, in the first message it contains uh, uh, just a random number called a nouns uh, this is a nouns in here and in the second message at this stage uh, client already calculated uh, you know ptk and then mic so it sends uh, you know s nouns just a random number generated by the wi-fi client and uh, this is a mic you know hash value which is calculated again based on this ptk in here and uh, so now after receiving the second message access point calculates ptk and then mic and the compare the mic with uh, uh, what is in the you know what is uh, what it received if they match then access point knows that uh, this sta you know has correct password if you think about this process the whole point of this process is uh, to verify that you know access point has correct password without actually transmitting that password in the uh, in the uh, air so to do that it is using the uh, hash value which is uh, calculated based on the pass you know password in here so in the third message now uh, at this stage access point knows that you know this client has a correct password so uh, it is uh, providing the gtk you know group uh, group transit key and also it is asking client to install you know this uh, the, the key because you know you know it is correct now right now so so enough about the theory so let's see how uh, uh, how this works in in uh, actually this works okay so I have Kali Linux in here also I have a uh, AR uh, air, uh, air crack ng in here so uh, you can I mean you, you don't really need you know Kali Linux uh, to do this I mean you can install air crack ng suit easily in any major Linux distributions so I have a you know I have a packet capture in here this is the same packet capture that I'm showing in here and uh, so to try to crack the Wi-Fi password the command you know air crack uh, ng command is a uh, and uh, uh, it needs a word list and I'm gonna use a, a word list that comes you know that, that comes with Kali Linux by default uh, and uh, uh, packet capture name in here so as you can see in here of course i mean you know i used easy password for this demonstration and you can see that uh, you know key found you know wi-fi uh, uh wi-fi key is uh, this one so if you see in here so initially using this key this key should be in the word list and uh, using this key it calculated a mask key the pmk pmk in here and then it calculated the ptk here and uh, it calculated the hash value in here and uh, this hash value should match with the hash value in the pack uh, in the second packet if you see in here so this is a, a hash value that is in the in a second message and then this value matches with uh, this calculated hash you know uh, hash value in here that's how the L crack engine knows that you know it, it used the correct password so okay so that's how it works uh, how the L crack engine and hashcat can you know crack the Wi-Fi password using the you know dictionary or uh, a list of the words so if you are using the password that can appear in the dictionary so you you know you, you should change this is uh, how easy it is uh, to crack the you know Wi-Fi password if uh, your password uh, might appear in the in the you know dictionary. 
your password and list should contain you know one uppercase lowercase uh, and uh, special character and uh, number right and uh, one more tip uh, I want to give you to to make your Wi-Fi network secure is uh, if uh, WPS is enabled in in your access point you know you want to disable it WPS stands for you know Wi-Fi protected setup so Wi-Fi Alliance thought that you know for some people it is difficult to associate with access point using their password so that they came up with a you know easy way to pair with the Wi-Fi you know access point using the pin or the you know push button method but there is a significant you know design flaw in the WPS so that if somebody has enough time and patience then eventually uh, WPS can be cracked so uh, if I give you a quick demonstration in here, so using uh, this command, you can find out uh, you can find out all the access point that you know that enables the WPS. So basically, it is checking that the you know, Wi-Fi beacon message, and then in the beacon message, you can tell if uh, you know X, the this access point has the WPS enabled or not. So this is my access point that I'm using for this demonstration and uh, to crack the WP, uh, WPS pin uh, there is a tool called the Weaver So channel is uh, 11 and uh, I'm using interface WLAN1 and uh, BSS ID is uh, this is my And uh, very verbose. Okay, so before you know, before this demonstration, actually I tried. That is why it is asking me if I want to continue, right? But I'm gonna start from the uh, stop. Yeah, I'm gonna start from the scratch in here, and let's see. So as you can see, you know, it cracked my WPS pin, and then it received the uh, you know WPAPSK in here. So this matches with a. Uh, uh, what we saw in aircrack ng demonstration all right so of course i mean i used this easy pin just for you know just for this demonstration but the point is uh if wps is enabled uh in your wi-fi access point disable it and uh, if you are using the easy password then you want to change it to you know to secure your wi-fi network um, Thanks guys, that's it uh, for today's demonstration. Uh, I hope you know this was helpful for some people. Bye.